Hi guys and welcome to Finish It Friday episode 101. So here's where we left off on Wednesday. Let me take out my cutter because I think I'm going to cut my pieces down into one inch strips. So this is the three by five piece and I'm cutting it down to one inch strips. I think I'm gonna leave these alone just for now. We'll see how it goes. All right. Okay, I like that. I like having it offset like that. It adds a little visual interest. And then I think do I want to put just one down here to anchor it? Let's do that. Let's put this down and anchor it, and then we'll put the other one on the inside. How about that? Oh, excuse me. I don't know if I'm getting over a cold or what from being downtown last weekend. Let's see, we'll go like that. I'm gonna go right up to the corner of that. I wanna go right up to the corner, sorry. Let me go like this. Then I want to take this one, I'm going to offset it more this way. Yes, I know, you usually, let me do it, you usually do the top and bottom, then center, the middle. I don't think that far ahead sometimes. Then let's go this way. about there and this one will be on the inside we'll do a little four by let's see because that's three by five let's do three and a half by four. Let's see if that's good for our inside piece. Yep. I don't want it to be that matchy matchy. So there you are. That'll be your inside where you can write. I don't do that a lot on my cards, but um, go ahead and leave it that way. Then I have this circle. I like the circle. Let me go ahead and grab my Petunia Pop stamp pad. I'm gonna roll the edge. Lean it a little this way so I get a little bit more around the outside. There we go. Let's see, what saying do I want? I have so many sayings. Let's see. Let me go back to the two that I usually pick from. Either so sincere or something fancy. Um, This one. I'm gonna try that one. I want it to get more space. There, I'll use that one. 
these have all fallen out. I must not have put them back in very well. I usually don't have this thing in there, but people said that it helps them keep from missing a stamp, so I'm trying it, but I don't know if I like it. I usually don't have, I just have these laying in there. All right, so let's go ahead that there you are let's see what what little pretties do I want to use on this Always go to the the these because these are matching up to that. But do I want to add some with a little texture in it? I think I'll use those. How about that? These are called the adhesive bat dappled dots. They're in the annual catalog. And I think with the little design in them, they kind of work pretty good for this. And these are pretty close to that. I get lucky usually with the colors I choose. Oh, I think I lost my sticky on there. All right. Let me go and try this again. And then let's do a little tiny one. They have just a little bit of texture to them, so I don't know if that is causing me to look like I don't know how to use my take your pick tool or what. Let's put these back in their little bin over here. There it goes. I think I want to pop these up. Let me go ahead, grab a couple of these. So there's our card for today. So now this is from the sketch on page 19 of the annual catalog. I think it's the fourth sketch. So this is what they show in the catalog. So this is what I went off of. Here's one. I don't know if you can see, I ran this all through the embossing folder. So there's texture on everything. So I did straight up and down and put the two on the side. This one, I cut the three by five, not as a diagonal, but a little bit inside off of the diagonal, and then laid these two strips underneath. And then this is my extra piece for a sediment. All right, guys, there you are. Thanks for joining me. Give me a thumbs up share on your social media hit that subscribe button if you haven't already send me a comment most of all have a fantastic day thanks for dropping by bye for now